and now the fort has been transformed in one of the most beautiful art gallery in Puerto Rico that is maintained by the government of Puerto Rico. So our current exhibit is an exhibit by five women, Viacense artists, and it's called The Power of the Sacred Feminine. Uh, Mirna Pagan, Sarah Cook, Wendy Price, uh, Sandra Reyes, and um, Ardel Ferrer are the five women who make up this wonderful exhibit uh, of uh, paintings and ceramics, installations, uh, metal sculptures. It's a very special and powerful exhibit by these five Viacense women uh, artists. Um, and as we always do in our exhibits and our presentations, um, we present these exhibits in honor of children and and we always begin our opening ceremonies with a moment of silence to share some of the pain and suffering of so many children throughout the world innocent victims of military violence in too many places on the planet uh, and in this case this particular exhibit is also uh, in part um, to help fund the Vieques Oasis Educational Center, a very important educational project here on Vieques. So uh, come and visit. It's a wonderful show. Thank you. Um, we are here as artists. We are here as mothers, sisters. We are here as family. And I'm so proud to be with all of you. Thank you for being with us. I know you will enjoy seeing our work because we've given our best and have enjoyed it so much. I say again, muchas gracias por estar aquí esta noche. No tengo más palabras después de, de la, be la belleza de introducción de Bob, porque para nosotros ha sido una experiencia tan única, tan especial, tan bonita, Y creo que ustedes sentirán eso cuando pasan por los trabajos que están hechos para ustedes con mucho amor. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros.
resident of Vieques, the most uh, exquisite place to be living in of my lifetime, and uh, I've had uh, many experiences in Vieques having to do with the ocean, naturally, like swimming with dolphins. I've had the experience of finding a snake in a river in India, which moved me to another place. Wherever the places are, it seems to be the most exciting thing that happens in my life has to do with nature. And therefore, the, to take on the project of doing an interpretation of what I feel Gaia means Gaia, the mother of nature, Gaia, the feminine force. I feel the Gaia force in all women, the goddess force in all women, and I've tried to bring that feeling, that thought, into the work I'm presenting here tonight in Vieques. I'm happy you're here, and we've got a lot of people from the community who I believe have gotten our message that, I don't mean to sound uh, difficult on this, but the world is in such a situation where the feminine force, it is recognized as something that is coming back strongly, strongly, and it starts in each woman, each child, each man who connects with his female power. So here's Gaia. Here is a gift from universe and here is my humble interpretation of this goddess lady. Of the five women and the title is and there be there shall be light. You know so I think when the universe was created there were five women there helping to the light to come through us. How long have you been an artist? Seven, eight years. And what were you doing before? I was a biologist. Um, here in Puerto Rico, studying turtles. Sea turtles. I still use the biology to um, make my pieces. I'm, I'm intrigued by, um, you can see here, the, every single detail of the leaf of this, you know, this is a pampas, pampas grass, so you can see every single detail of that leaf. Um, I'm intrigued by that, and I have other pieces where you can see the veins of the leaf, like the leaves and whatnot. Um, textures really intrigue me, so you can see how all this texture happens. And um, Tell me about this piece. This is a heliconia, or a birds of paradise. Um, typical sort of tropical plants, but this is the leaf from the birds of paradise. Oh, I see. Is it like an exact replica? It is an exact replica. Oh, I wow. actually used the leaf in here to make the piece and it burned when I burned the kiln. So, oh. you know, it burned it in the yeah, kiln. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I fire it typically to about 17, 1800 degrees and so the leaf is burned out immediately, you know, and you get to see different aspects of the leaf, whether it be this vein. This is the work of Mirna Pagan. Art sculpture. 
a deliferar. Sandra Reyes, five women birthing the universe. Wendy Price. Ceramic by Sarah 